Hello everyone! It is my birthday today. So exciting. Although it doesn't really feel like my birthday. I mean, I guess it kind of does now, but we just got home from Nashville last night pretty late and then I just went to bed and everything. So it doesn't really feel like it. But I thought I would do a birthday day in my life. It's not going to be anything like crazy glamorous, but I thought I would take you guys along and I have a million packages to open. So I thought this could be like a day in the life vlog on my birthday plus opening a bunch of packages which is kind of like a birthday gift right so and a lot of them are baby packages some of them are just things I ordered I'm also going to go pick up an order from Kirkland's and then stop in Target I need to get a few things for other people shop for myself maybe who knows I have a 5% off birthday coupon so I thought I would use it and then I don't know maybe I'll go buy Starbucks I don't know if they do anything I think they do a birthday thing there my lovely husband ordered me Chick-fil-a because he had to go into the office today so he door dashed me Chick-fil-A to the house, which was very, very nice. He's never done anything like that. I mean, obviously he gets me things and does nice things for my birthday, but I mean, he hasn't ever sent like a door dash order. So yeah, we are just going to have a good day. I think Patrick and I are going to possibly go out to dinner tonight. And then honestly, I would just like to like stay in the house and I got a Ninja Creamy on Prime Day. So I want to make homemade ice cream. Maybe I want to possibly sit by our fire pit, watch a movie, just do stuff like that at the house since we've been gone to Nashville. Now I'm just going to head to Target. I might go pick up my Kirkland's order and then I'll go to Target. And I haven't gotten ready for the day because I actually just got a Brazilian wax. And you're probably like, what psycho chooses to get her coochie waxed on her birthday? And I don't know. It's just the way it lined up. And so we're just doing it, you know? And it wasn't as bad as the first time I got it done. I had some like really sensitive skin. I've always shaved. It's turned into like way like TMI, like girl talk. But if you guys are ever curious here you go but I used to shave like my whole life I've never gotten waxed and I didn't really have a huge issue with razor bumps like not anything to write home about a bump here and there maybe but nothing crazy and then getting waxed I experienced really sensitive skin got some bumps and I was like freaking out I was like nervous because I'm like oh my gosh like have I messed up my skin like my skin never did this and now it is but the first time I got it done the hair was like a little bit too short so this time it had grown out a little bit more still a little patchy but I went in and she was like oh no this is good so hopefully we're doing better it didn't hurt as much this time so I'm hoping that we're in the clear and last time I had like a little bit of pain and sensitivity like four days after which is uncommon and this time I really don't feel anything too crazy so I'm hoping that it was just like the first time was like my skin freaking out and now we're gonna be good anyways I do have a Starbucks reward so we're going to do some birthday things today and then we'll head home open my packages throw on a little bit of makeup. I'm not going to do anything too crazy because I just don't want to, you know, get slightly ready so that Patrick and I can go out tonight and then that'll be it. But yeah, super fun. I'm 26 today. May you always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in uh, the yes, please. All right. Thank you. Oh, you too. Oh, thanks. Well, that is fun. As much as I love Starbucks, I really don't think that I've ever redeemed a birthday drink. I really don't think I have because I didn't realize you get a, like a full free drink. That's really nice. Very exciting. I don't know why I haven't done that before. Probably just because I haven't been out near a Starbucks on my birthday, but today I am. Anyways, I'm headed home. Actually, I have a couple more stops. I forgot a freaking gift card I needed in Target. Bought a ton of other stuff, but I forgot the gift card. So, I guess I'm gonna have to stop and get that at Kroger. And then after that, I'm gonna slap on some makeup and open all my packages. Hello you guys. So we are going to start unboxing packages now. It is about 2.30. I would like to have this 
finished up in an hour and cleaned up so we'll see but yeah a lot of this is baby stuff some of it is just clothing orders that I've done some of it is for the nursery some of it is PR yeah lots to open so let's just get started so first over here we already opened these but these are just little closet they're called closet storage box sets but they are actually drawer organizers so you can see a picture of them right there I just got three packs of these for the nursery the dresser that we have in there which I've had for years we are going to be using as her dresser and changing table and all that so I got some drawer organizers that I think are going to fit perfectly in there this is a package from H&M that arrived today which I do have several H&M packages I guess they just all shipped like separately and also just want to say disclaimer some of this is like clothes for my baby and I know people get their panties in a wide talking about baby clothes because they're like you don't need all the baby clothes blah 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 blah, blah. okay I'm a first time mom it's my first baby she's a girl I'm gonna buy some baby clothes I don't think I've like overdone it and I try to get things that I know are gonna be practical so first we have baby leggings these were a three pack of just little leggings I got these in size three month it just comes with little ribbed leggings we have a beige pair and then this color which is like a more like mocha or taupe color then we have this which I believe yes is one of the sleeping bags from H&M we registered for like one of these from like halo sleep sack or something like that but I don't know I just wanted to pick up this one I loved the pattern I thought it was so cute plus I thought it would be nice to just try one from H&M and see how it is different than the other like more expensive brands out there this item is for me and it is just a sequin cropped black top I thought this would be cute for the holidays even like for New Year's or something with being pregnant there is only so much I can wear but like this with like a tight black skirt or something would be cute another item for me is this green beanie it says better days I didn't even know it said that but I loved the color of this beanie I wear beanies 24 7 when it gets colder out um I wouldn't even go on a walk now without one honestly because my ears get so cold this is for baby it is just like a little jumpsuit is that not the most precious thing you have ever seen next we have a PR package from my friends over at Bonza I love Bonza if you don't know Bonza is a food brand they make the pasta made from chickpeas which is probably their most popular thing they've also recently came out with pizzas like frozen pizzas which were really good they sent those over as well and then they just sent over their new microwavable mac and cheese which I am so excited about I love microwavable mac and cheese especially while I've been pregnant honestly I haven't eaten it that much but I bought it once and it was so good so this is such a cute PR package they sent this little beanie that says mac and cheese so funny my husband will probably wear that honestly they just sent two packs of the mac and cheese made with chickpea pasta and you literally just microwave it and it's ready in like two minutes thank you Bonza we have a Nordstrom package which I think anything from Nordstrom is just going to be for me and this one is a sweater dress I've been loving anything that's like tight on my bump anything like that is just like really comfortable if I could live my entire pregnancy in dresses I would even in fall and winter because they're just so much more comfortable comfortable than anything else so we'll see if this one fits okay it does look like it might be a little short yeah just a sweater dress it's like tight on the bottom but the material seems very soft and I love this color so I'm hoping it looks good we have an Amazon package here so I ordered some of the pop mask starry eyes self-warming eye masks I used these once when I had a headache which I get pretty often during pregnancy and they were so nice like it just relaxed me it made me feel so good you put it on your eyes and it warms up and it just took away my headache so yeah I ordered five more of these on Amazon and I also got some rings because I just wanted some cheap rings that I could layer so we have a little snake ring this little pinky ring another piece from Amazon I think this is just a dress I want to do like a maternity dresses 
sister maternity outfits video. So I've been kind of collecting things for that. This one is just a really pretty green dress off the shoulder. Very, very flowy. Another Amazon. Oh yeah, this one is like a long sleeve maternity shirt that comes up really high on the sides. I wanted to just wear this with like leggings and stuff, lounging around the house or running errands. It's really, really soft. Okay, let's open this fun package from Spearmint Love or Spearmint Baby, whatever you want to call it. I ordered some baby stuff from them. They have the actual cutest stuff ever. Spearmint Love or Spearmint Baby, if you want to work with me, give me a shout out. I would love to. I think their stuff is so cute. The shipping was insanely fast. In this package, we have a couple of things that I know that I want to take photos of in the hospital and possibly like her coming home outfit as well. What made me find them is I was looking for a baby palm beanie. Everyone in my life, like, I don't know why it's become like a joke in my family that like I'm just the one that always wears palm beanies because I think, I think it started because I have many pictures as a kid wearing a palm beanie and there was this specific one when I was a kid if I could find a picture in it I'll insert it but it's like a pink beanie has the pom-pom and these little like disco glitter things on it also and my friend Amber I don't know just like always remembered that like we always remembered me wearing that palm beanie I still wear them so much so I wanted my daughter to have one as well so that's how I found them but then they also have so many other cute items so I did get this little palm beanie it's just pink and it's knit and this one is actually like one that has like the little strings so here is the potential going home outfit it is so cute you guys it's just a little onesie with the ruffle and it has a ruffle butt so I think this is going to be it I like it because it's not overdone I don't want to put her in like a crazy like actual fancy outfit this one is just a onesie it still has a zipper and it still looks like it's going to be very easy to wear and easy to get her in and out of and then it has a little bow with it also so I'm obsessed with that like actually obsessed I can't wait to show my husband that it's so cute and speaking of palm beanies she will be born near valentine's day or on her, our due date is valentine's day so i have this little beanie that says xoxo adorable and then another thing that we got with the hospital in mind i guess i'll just show you guys you guys will get a sneak peek but this is like a little blanket kind of sack thing that says hi and you just put them in it and um take a photo i just thought that was cute that's her little hospital kind of stuff then i just got a lot of like cute little just toy type things i know she doesn't need all these but they were adorable and you know so this one is just like a little blanket kind of toy it has the teether here it also has like that crunch crinkle kind of material then i got one of these that has like the little toy attached to the pacifier i've heard really good things about these not necessarily this brand but i think any brand would be fine and it has like a little bunny on it and it's just like a neutral pacifier this little toy is just like a little rattle type thing that you can attach to your car seat or anything really diaper bag or whatever that they can kind of play with so once again just cute it has like the teether the rattle the crinkly material all the things that babies love i got a couple of books because i'm really looking for pink books to decorate the shelves in the nursery so this one is like a really good baby book like it's that crinkly material so she'll love this i'm sure when she is a baby baby but it's just a pink little owl book super cute and it just opens and has different fun stuff on each page literally like three pages like i said one of the actually like baby books that they're into it even has like a mirror on it and stuff like that so yeah super cute and then i got this one that says my first ballet book cinderella and i just got it because it was like i said the pink theme i got a couple more pink themed books at target today as well so our collection is growing not necessarily for her but it could also go on the shelf in the nursery this is the baby's first year book I got one of these actually for my nephew and I just love this brand. I think it's so cute. So it has like the pink and gold. You can track like their first year. You can have photos, footprints, track each month with their progress and everything. So their first ho holidays, car ride, weight, they're all of their big like firsts and then family tree and all of that. So yeah, I just thought that was so cute. And once again, it can go on the bookshelf in the nursery. And the last thing is something 
thing that you put on your car seat and I just loved the colors of this one I loved the size of it it's really really nice and you know once again all things that babies like the mirror the crinkle the rattle you just spiral on there and it is good to go and i think this is definitely something we're going to use you know immediately when we put it on our car seat and it'll just be something fun to keep her entertained and i believe that's it for spearmint baby like i said i freaking love everything from there this box here is another amazon box i believe this is stuff for the nursery we have wooden shelves for the nursery and then a chandelier that we will be putting up in there we have a Zara package here which is wet so that's great it's wet because we we're out of town and no one like could bring in our packages so yeah and the thing about Zara is like their clothes like aren't in bags so clothes are a little wet or I don't know not really one pieces but anyways this is a little jacket that'll be perfect for winter time I love this I love the pattern on it I just love Zara you guys it's I'm obsessed this is the main thing that I really wanted to order for myself I think this is so cute but it is really really heavy but it's just a striped sweater it actually zips all the way down so you could wear it open or closed a little silky shirt this is the one that is a little wet but not too bad oversized dark green silky shirt i love their silk flowy shirts and i wanted one in that color and then we have more baby stuff in this order because once again i just can't resist from zara they have the cutest stuff so this one is size one to three months it is a little matching set kind of i loved the pattern on it it's just very neutral kind of has like a rainbow and clouds like rainy clouds design to it so that's the top and then here are the little bottoms super cute these are a little wet though so i'm going to have to wash these which i would wash them anyways i also got another set of leggings because i feel like she's gonna wear stuff like this all the time and in a ribbed beige color and these are so soft you guys oh my gosh for myself another beanie i love the zara beanies they fit me like really well i don't really have one in just plain black this little sweater I wanted to get for a specific purpose a picture if you will I have like something in mind and this was the only like knit sweater I could really find that was in zero to one months and then I also got this little palm beanie little ribbed body suits that I think that we will wear a lot zero to one months these are so soft I was on the fence about buying these but I'm glad I did now that I feel them they're ribbed so you could wear these with pants little skirts or just wear them as is it comes with beige and a pink this little little sweatshirt could not resist either with the little animals on it this is definitely like unisex so I could just pair it with little leggings and like a bow and it'll be cute my camera died so hopefully we're in a similar setup but anyways yeah this would also be cute for a little boy with like some blue legging type things and then the last thing I got is this little baby puffer jacket because she will be born in February and I do think it's gonna be pretty cold I couldn't really find anything like this but I finally found this one and I'm obsessed with it I love it I know that February where I live is the coldest month of the year usually like it's when we get a lot of bad snow and ice and March is usually pretty cold too so I think we'll get a lot of use out of this but it's really nice quality oh my gosh if you guys are looking for like a nice coat or something for your kids check out Zara they have baby all the way up to like you know little toddler this is cute and I got here just in time I will say this is from an Etsy shop and it took a very long time to ship like it told me that I was gonna take like you know a few weeks to a month to ship I ordered it in July lie though and it just now got here like mid-october so just saying it was a little little longer than they originally said but this is a little halloween cup it was so cute on the etsy website so i'm hoping that it's just as cute in person and on halloween i can drink my little drink out of it this is what it looks like it has the ghost and glittery like checkered print on it and then the lid is rhinestone like white rhinestones and then it comes with this striped straw and you can opt to get like a little straw accessory which i did it says spooky babe on it so cute 
absolutely love it so yeah i will link her etsy shop down below this oh is a pack of maternity leggings which i don't really have so yeah excited about these because i'm definitely at the point of needing a little more height up here at the top for my belly so these i'm excited about it comes with a black pair and this like green pair this is a rod that we will be using in the nursery and i just want to open it up enough to kind of look at it i at least just want to see the gold color so that's what it looks like so i bought a mirror today so i need to see if they are like a similar color gold hopefully they are anyways yeah so i'm gonna keep that in the box so that we can put it up when the time comes this i believe is from nordstrom these are two identical dresses i'll only show you one of them i guess but i just wanted to i didn't know what color i wanted so i just wanted to get both and i'll send whichever one back but these i think i will wear this a lot so it's just a long sleeve really really soft dress and it's tighter on the bottom but it's like a midi link and it has a belt around the center so i saw i believe like caitlin covington who is also pregnant right now she was wearing the these dresses and they looked so good so i'm not sure which one i'll keep i'm thinking i'm leaning towards the gray one this box is also from nordstrom so first we have a skirt from free people this was actually on sale and the reason i got it is because i already own this in gray and i loved it so much the first time i wore it that I immediately went back to get it in burgundy because I loved it but it has like a slit here and it's just so comfortable and so flattering on the belly this I believe is a little scarf from free people it's a very thick soft scarf so this will be good for when it's cold out we have a sweater from top shop but i do not remember getting it in this color i'll have to go back and look but this is like a very very crop top and it's in blue and it looks very wide and oversized so i'm interested to try this on but i think my thought process was that i love cropped things with like over top of a tight dress and like your belly shows and then lastly we have a huge cardigan which I'm very excited to try on. This is from Topshop and it is a neutral cardigan, but it has stripes on one side, but then it has a checkered print over here and then on this sleeve as well. I love the mixed patterns, but I love the neutral color scheme because I will definitely wear something like this a ton. And it's a very long cardigan as well. Very oversized. I got this in a size large or a US 12, but it might be too big. Oh, and then I also got this Kylie Skin lip balm set. It's the holiday lip balm set. I thought it was really cute. It's just like very neutral and it has three lip balms. I think this is the last one from Nordstrom. We have another Topshop cardigan. This one is a little different though. This one is cropped, still neutral and still striped, but it's just like a cropped black and white striped cardigan. Very, very cute. Once again, with like a tight black dress, all me that I will wear pregnant, not pregnant. So then we have this, which I'm excited about as well. I forgot about this. This is from Waif and it is a bodysuit, but it has the feathers on the sleeves. So cute. I wanted this in black, but it was sold out. So I opted for the white one and I think I'll like either one. And this is super stretchy. So I think I'll be able to wear it now. And it just adds like such a fun touch. I love the feathers. We have another package from Zara. So this is a puffer vest that I got from them for myself obviously and it's just cream it has a hood and I just thought I would like to style this for fall and winter it's honestly probably just like an all black outfit underneath with like some chunky combat boots would be really cute and then lastly from Zara is just this hoodie once again just a nice basic for the season I liked the gray color of this I don't have anything like it and it's just a hoodie I don't know I'm worried about the fit it doesn't look as like straight as I wanted it to all all of these places that you're seeing have very good return policies which is why you see me buy kind of a lot of clothes because Zara, Nordstrom, and H&M which I'm going to show you all of them have really good return policies so I never have any issues returning things that I don't need or want. We have two big H&M packages. Some more of this is going to be baby stuff. This is not really like necessarily baby but like just child in general but it's a hooded towel. It just has like clouds on it. Adorable this came as a little outfit and I got it in six months so she can grow into it but it's long sleeve ribbed and then it comes with this little corduroy dress over top as well this I had to get 
just in case we do a little Valentine's something. It's like in a newborn size, I believe. And it's just a red frilly dress. I know my mom will love this one, um, but it's a bodysuit dress. And like I said, for Valentine's Day, it's gonna be so cute. This one, I just could not resist because it's Mickey. Comes with little leggings with the flowers on them. And then this says, actually I said Mickey, but Minnie Mouse. So adorable. And this is in six months. This is for myself and it is a sweatshirt. I love H&M graphic sweatshirts. They fit really good. And this one just says New Orleans, Louisiana. This was taking up a lot of room in there and it's a pair of boots. I saw someone share these and I had to try them out. I think these are adorable. Just just super fuzzy furry they have the platform on them a pair of gloves for myself because I don't really have any I noticed or the ones I do have I need to get rid of these are just like a nice basic glove this dress also with the holidays in mind even if I don't go anywhere I like to share photos and stuff obviously that's my job so I like to have something a little shimmery to wear and this one I thought would be maternity friendly it's just a long sleeve sequin dress with a bow at the side and then it has like kind of a flowier skirt to it and it actually seems stretchy too so I think this will be perfect for my maternity eternity bod at that time. This is another little puffer vest. I liked this one because it is belted. Super cute. It just has a belt there in the middle and it is a little bit longer and this one is black. This is for baby I think. Another little matching set. Just green pants and a green little crew neck. So cute and it has the buttons right there. Oh another H&M package. I'm like what could be in here? How much should I order from H&M? This is a little baseball hat that I loved. I love wearing baseball hats when I like don't want to do my hair. This one was a good fall option. Oh this is a little pajama pajama set silky pajamas with the black on the sides scrunch waist wide legs i love wearing stuff like this i did get this in a large seems pretty oversized though and that's the shirt long sleeve this is like a little jacket set has the little ears on it i loved it once again perfect for when she's here and it's really cold if we don't use the coat then this will be a good option and it has like the fleece leggings another mickey mini set i had to have this one we got in 12 months so she won't wear this for a while but i just loved the print and it has has like the little Disney characters on it. I'm not opposed to like wearing character stuff. I know some moms like don't want their kids wearing character stuff. I know she'll probably end up liking that kind of stuff and I'm not opposed to it if it's like actually cute like this like in neutral colors. So anyways love that. This is another graphic sweatshirt. I'm gonna decide between the two and send one back because I don't need both but this one is a little bit more cropped and it just says Wisconsin League and I like the distressing of this one. And then the last thing in here making it so huge is a coat i don't know not as soft as i was expecting but it's just like a long teddy coat it's in beige so i'm gonna have to try this one on because i'm not sure about it right now probably gonna be the only coat that i buy this year i already have several coats and i honestly just don't wear coats that often last two packages i already know what they are and i'm not going to go through them like in detail this one is for an upcoming collab that i'm doing with cricket i love cricket i use my cricket all all the time and I'm only gonna start using it more with you know baby coming and also I don't know I've thought about like selling some of the designs that I do also I enjoy doing it so We'll see if I ever make an Etsy shop or anything. But they sent over a bunch of supplies that I need. Transfer tape, lots of iron-on materials. This is like a glitter iron-on. They also sent over this shimmery smart vinyl, which I'm so excited to use. This one is like a neutral pack for an idea that I have. We have the adhesive foil. But anyways, yeah, so lots of stuff from Cricut. The last item is a another gift from Love Every, which I'm sure you guys will hear me talk about a lot in the near future, but they do a lot of like really awesome kid educational kits and toys and different stuff like that. Like their whole thing is like educating babies and children. So you can actually do like a subscription service with them where they'll send you like a play kit from like literally zero to like 12 months of age and on. I think it goes up into like toddler ages, but they're amazing. So that is what this package is. 
is. So they sent over the looker kit, which is the zero to 12 weeks play kit. Obviously she will not be using this for <laughs> until she's here, but this is what it looks like. So you open it up. I'm not gonna take everything out because I don't want to mess anything up before she gets here. But this is like a fun little rainbow thing. Teether, rattle, little cards and stuff. I think these are gonna be like the black and white cards maybe. More little stuff like this. I don't know, I will show you guys this in more detail in another video, but it is just so cool. And they always send over instructions on how to use everything in the kit and what they should be doing with it and what you as like the parent should be doing or how you should be kind of like engaging and all that stuff so it's very very helpful and my husband and I are just so excited about this because this is just exactly what we wanted to do is like yes we want to get toys and stuff but we want them to also be educational and be sure even from very 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 young that we're doing the best we can to you know set her up for a success in learning and this very last item is the love every play gym which once again we are so excited about and just so thankful to be gifted from Love Every. This is a pretty pricey play gym and like I said probably something I'm not gonna get out right now but you will absolutely see it in the nursery tour. Here is what it looks like. It's pretty legit. If you are looking into buying stuff for your baby or creating your registry I definitely recommend looking into this one because it is the most educational and useful play gym that you can get. Of course there are a million ones that have like all these crazy colors or neutral colors that are literally just for looks basically or for like mild entertainment for your baby but this one is really going to be something that they can do different activities with and really learn from so with it you get all of this stuff you get an activity guide contrast ball black and white cards picture cards mirror cards teething ring and this is what it looks like but I'm super excited about this and like I said very very thankful and blessed that they wanted to gift this to my husband and I and our baby girl. So you'll definitely hear more about this later. And this is not sponsored. It was just gifted. But this was definitely something I had already heard about before they even reached out and considered putting on our registry as well because I've just heard so many incredible things from moms who have tried this and used it. So anyways, yeah, that concludes our package opening. Now I have one gigantic mess to clean up before Patrick gets here and probably like 20 to 30 minutes. So wish me luck. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. So we went to dinner. We had pizza. It was very good. And now we are attempting to make ice cream with my Ninja Creamy machine that I got like on Prime Day. But we didn't realize that you have to freeze it for 24 hours, which makes sense. But we just didn't quite think that one through. So we're still gonna make it and we'll eat it on Sunday when we get home, I guess, because we're going to my parents' lake house tomorrow. So yeah, cream cheese and brown sugar. And now we are going to add in vanilla extract and ground cinnamon. While Patrick tries to figure out the frosting situation over there, I thought I would show you what he got me for my birthday since, it, since this is a birthday vlog. I got these beautiful flowers. They're so pretty and pink. And then we put the items in this hip hip hooray bag. And there was a card and stuff. But I don't think you guys care about that. And all of this he did not really pick out on his own. We don't really do that. Sometimes we surprise each other, but we create like an Amazon list for each other just with like a bunch of stuff. And then we both just pick what we want to get the other one. And it just works out because no one's upset with their gifts and all of that. So this was one of the items that I had on my wish list. It's the Hourglass palette. You guys are into makeup. I'm sure you've seen this. They're very popular, especially with the packaging. Um, but this one is the butterfly one. Another thing that I put on my wish list is this belt bag just from Amazon. I have one from Lululemon. 
and I love it. It's white and I wear it a lot. So I wanted a black one, but the Lululemon one is always sold out. So I just put this one on my wish list. I'll lower the camera so you guys can see. Yeah, this one's really nice. I like it just from Amazon. Like I said, it's very cute and it just has the exact same stuff as the Lululemon ones. So why not just have this one and I will link it for you guys. And then the last gift he got me is a new carry-on suitcase from Bays. I am obsessed with this. It is even prettier in person. So, so beautiful. I love that it has like goldish hardware here. It has like a pad right here. And then it's just like neutral. It has this thing that like clips your luggage, on, like your bag on top. And it's just beautiful. It has like the, of course, 360 spinners. It has a lock on it. And I'll insert a clip of the inside. I'm not gonna do it right now, but the inside has like organizational features in there already, kind of like packing cubes. So very convenient and such a nice quality bag. I want the matching set, of course, eventually. They're pretty expensive though. So just have the carry on for now. And then hopefully I will get the matching big, large suitcase at some point, maybe for Christmas or beforehand with birthday money, that kind of thing. We will see. But yeah, those are my B-Day gifts. And over here, we're doing the heavy cream. So here is our base all done and the ninja creamy comes with like this little pint that you put the base in and we're just gonna stick it in the freezer bucky oh the bfd relax all right i need you to <laughs> <laughs> Like some of us are allowed to sit next to her. And it's not this. Come on. Look at him trying so hard to get his face on the blanket. No. <laughs> You're fine there, buddy. Friends. Sitting by the fire with Bucky. He's stressing because he wants to be over here. <laughs> he has to be in between us at all times. He's about to be off this couch for good. You can stay right here, bud. You don't have to be up her ass all the time. There's no denial what we are.